In this video, we want to show that for this relation here, PV equals MRT, which is a formula about ideal gases, we have these relations. Partial derivative of P with respect to V times partial derivative of V with respect to T times partial derivative of T with respect to P equals negative 1 and also the other relation. In this formula, P is pressure, V is volume, M is mass, T is temperature and R is a constant. Let us start. First, we have to find the partial derivative of P with respect to V. But when we look at this relation, we can see that P and V are multiplied by each other. We don't have P equal something. So first, from this relation, we are going to find P in terms of V. P equals M R T divided by V. In this way, we don't need to do implicit differentiation. The other way to get that we can find the partial derivative of P with respect to V is to use implicit differentiation. But when you can find P easily like that, I showed you here, in, the, in terms of V, you don't need really to do this question implicitly. Let's go. Partial derivative of P with respect to V would be based on the quotient rule. We take derivative of the top times bottom minus derivative of the bottom times top all over bottom to the two. Hopefully you remember the quotient rule. But in the numerator, we don't have any V. It's a constant for us because we, attention, we want to find derivative, the partial derivative of P with respect to V. So V is the variable. In numerator, we don't have any variable. So derivative of the top would be zero minus, write the numerator M R T times the partial derivative the derivative of the bottom derivative of v is 1 with respect to v all over v to the 2 so we got negative m r t over v to the 2 now we have to find the next one partial derivative of v with respect to t for this we have to find v in terms of t so before finding this let's see what is v in terms of t V would be M R T over P. We divide both sides of the given relation in the question by P and we get this relation. So from this partial derivative of V with respect to T is attention the variable T appears in the top only not in the bottom. So for finding the partial derivative of V with respect to T you don't need to use any quotient rule. All of this, please attention this, all of this is a coefficient for that. And you want to find the relative with respect to t. If you use quotient rule, you are going to get the same answer. But why we have to use quotient rule when we do not need the quotient rule? All of these are numbers times by the variable. The derivative of that variable, the derivative of t with respect to t is 1. So the answer of partial derivative of v with respect to t would be mr over p. So the answer is m r over p. Now finally we want to find the partial derivative of t with respect to p. Now again we have to use this given relation here. Find t in terms of p. t would be pv over mr. We divide both sides by mr. t would be pv over mr. So we have t equals pv over m now we can find the partial derivative of t with respect to p. The variable p is only in the top, so all of this is a coefficient for p. Derivative of p is 1, so the partial derivative of t with respect to v to p would be v over m r. Now, we have to multiply all of these answers by each other, and it should be equal to negative 1. So, partial derivative of p with respect to v partial derivative of p with respect to v times by partial derivative of v with respect to t times by partial derivative of t with respect to p it should be negative one for the first one we have negative m r t over v to the two for the next one we have m r over p and finally we have v over m r let's simplify the common terms if we attention, in numerator, we have this R, for example, with these R cancels. 
one v from the denominator with one v from numerator this would be only v this m and this m also cancels so finally we have in numerator we have negative m r t over p v now maybe you think by yourself how come this is negative one we have m r t in the top p v in the bottom so it's not negative one it's other than negative one but attention in these type of question that they give you an equation sometimes you have to use that given equation in the question to simplify your answer back to the question that we have we have this equation and we know that based on this equation here pv is equal to mrt pv is mrt so in the bottom we have exactly pv so if you replace this PV with MRT, this equals to negative MRT over MRT cancel and it's negative one. So we showed that this is right, that we have this relation between the partial derivatives. Now we want to prove the other equation partial derivative of p with respect to t times partial derivative of v with respect to t equals mr it seems that i forgot something here yes there should be a t here so t times partial derivative which is p with respect to t times partial derivative of v with respect to t equals mr otherwise the equation is not right let us start attention first of all we already know that what is partial derivative of v with respect to t for this part we have already the answer the partial derivative of v with respect to t is mr over p so we have this here the only thing that we have to find is partial derivative of p with respect to t and for finding this for finding this we use this relation again p equals mrt over v and easily from that we can find the partial derivative of p with respect to t so let us start p is m r t over v partial derivative of p with respect to t would be m r over v this is v now partial derivative of p with respect to t times partial derivative of v with respect to t equals to m r over v times by Again, I forgot it to put t here. t times this, attention, we want to show that t times these partial derivatives. The partial derivative of v with respect to t is mr over p. So I'm going to replace it with mr over p here. mr over p, mr over p, and don't forget to put this t here. So in numerator, we have what? mr times mr times t. So we have m2 r2 t over pv. Again, to simplify this relation, in denominator, we have pv. But from the given equation in the question, we know that pv is mrt. So mrt. mr from numerator with one mr from denominator cancels. t with t cancels. So what remains at the end? only mr and we wanted to show that it equals mr so this finishes the quest solution of this question i hope you like this video please subscribe in my channel and see you in the next videos